So those are the notable quarterback transfers. Speaking of transfers, there's a lot of coaches that transferred schools. Just to mention a couple of them, Matt Rule to Nebraska, Luke Fickle to Wisconsin, Hugh Freeze to Auburn, Jeff Brom, like we mentioned, from Purdue to Louisville, Tom Herman to FAU, Deion Sanders to Colorado, Kenny Dillingham to ASU. Now, which one, Cody, do you think fits the best, and which one do you think will make an immediate impact? Because we saw some coaches last year in year one make a big jump, one of those being Sonny Dykes from TCU. I don't know if we're going to see anything like that this year with these coaches, but which one kind of catches your eye? Yeah, yeah I'm going to give you two because I think we're going to go with fit and then biggest impact. Mm. Fit, to me, Hugh Freeze, hands down. No question about it on, at Auburn. You know, was that old Miss? Um, spent a lot of time in the SEC West already. So he's already kind of had ties to those high school coaches and recruiting down there. Um, I think he's been one of the people that gives Nick, Nick Saban the biggest headache. Um, Old Miss has beaten Alabama a few times over the past few years, and Hugh Freeze was right in the middle of that. So um, I think you can definitely win a national championship at Auburn. It's been proven. You know, you go there, you win the SEC. Um, Old Miss, he didn't really have that opportunity. So now he's going to have better resources, better facilities, um, a better alumni group. So it'll be interesting to see how Hugh Freeze does over on the Plains at Auburn. Um, but in terms of impact, how can you say anybody other than Deion Sanders, you know? Mm-hmm. Um Obviously, Colorado was 1-11. Um, I was listening to Joel Klatt, and he was talking about how Colorado lost by an average of 29 points a game, which was by far the worst um, in uh, the FBS. So um, it'll be interesting to see. Um, I mean, come out. <laughs> it'll be tough, though, coming out uh, week one against the reigning uh, national runner-up in TCU on the road. But um, I think – like I said, I think Dion has those guys over in Colorado believing. Um, and I think things in Boulder are really going to turn around a lot quicker than we think. Yeah, and I think his impact is already showing before without even the wins or losses on the column. I mean, that's spring game, packed stadium. Um, I love the access that they have, too. They're one of those schools that's big on social media, having the access uh, behind the scenes. And, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, they got a talented roster. Speaking